Hey Taurus, this is going to be your general collective reading for the day. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Look at that, it's a split the deck. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. I love this. I love this for you guys. <laughs> because it's a, a beautiful way of showing like, yes, I am balanced. I am fair. I am kind. I am compassionate. But I'm also straight no chaser. <laughs> I'm also very with the shits. I'm also going to check your ass if you try me. So what you want today? Who you want today is what you're giving, Taurus. So, you know, anything that anybody is giving to you, you're giving to them. You know what I mean? I love it because I feel like if they're kind and they're fair, they need your affection, your love, you're going to give that. But you're also going to give them the truth. So very beautiful so let's jump right into your reading take what resonates leave the rest messages for Taurus, sun moon rising venus signs please don't forget to like and subscribe i do appreciate all the love that i get from taurus you guys are number one number one all right let's see what messages do we have for the day for you taurus what messages would you be receiving from spirit today I'll close it off, as always, with messages from the person that has you on their mind. All right, utilizing those index cards. But we're going to start off with spirit first. I saw the devil up underneath there. Some of you all could be dealing with a Capricorn. I just saw, um, I saw the three of pentacles as well. So you guys could even be collaborating with a Capricorn. Someone very fun. Also very practical. All right, you got the hangman. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the Virgo. You have the two of swords reverse. And let's get one more for you, Taurus. Whoa, that came out. The world reverse. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. You've been thinking about this for a while. Should I? I was just her. Should I go? Should I stay? I'm in control. Either way. <laughs> Look up Brandy. Um, what's that song? Is it Should I Go? I think it's called Should I Go, Brandy. But anyway, I feel that that's, that's your vibe right now. And like we said, with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups in the middle of the deck, uh, when we began to shuffle, there's that energy as well. You know, should I go? Should I stay? Yeah, a decision needs to be made. But either way, you're in control. That's exactly how I'm feeling with this um, vibe, Taurus. All right. So with the world reverse, unfinished business, some of you all could be dealing with a fixed sign like yourself, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. Um, I apologize for any noise in the background. That will be my dogs having the time of their lives. Kangaroo and white man. But um, we have this energy of you needing to make a decision, all right? You've been, you already know a decision needs to be made. You've already been like, you know, considering different alternatives, different options, different ways of handling whatever this is. But I feel that ultimately you haven't made a decision just yet because we have the hangman coming out and the world is coming out. So it's like the cycle hasn't been completed, but I feel you are very very close to making a decision on what is this what is this let's uh clarify the hangman what is this that you need to make a decision in regards to Taurus? what is this three of wands reverse okay the waiting game the waiting game so you're really needing to make a decision whether or not you're going to keep waiting for something or someone to come through, okay? You have been patient. I feel that even though you've been waiting, you haven't been stagnant, okay? Because the hangman isn't in reverse. So you've been utilizing your time wisely while you're waiting, okay? So it's like you haven't been sitting there waiting for the water to boil. You've been chopping up your garlic and your onions and, you know, preparing other things as well. So you still had a life. You still have things going on, but you're also waiting for something to come through. And you feel like, like, damn, did I waste my time? You're starting to have some type of doubts. You're starting to feel like there's some type of obstacles that are in the way of something coming into fruition for you. And you do not like that. You don't like it. It's like, what 
what happened why is this coming through so shaky why is this taking so long so something is taking too long to come through you've been waiting patiently three of wands reverse it's like you planned out right you had you were inspired initially when it came through you were excited you were inspired all right, and then you started to make plans. You started to do your part. You started to, you know, negotiate with people. You know what I mean? So it's like you you put your best foot forward, but then there's this, like, delay with the Three of Wands reverse. There's a delay and something that you've been waiting for. Okay, why? Two of Swords reverse, why? Could it be that you're not 1,000% sure if you even want this anymore? Maybe you asked for whatever this is during a time where you thought you wanted, you wanted it, but now you don't want it anymore. And that's why the universe is stepping through to, you know, create this delay. Do you still want this? Do you still want whatever this is? Let's see. Let's clarify the two of swords reverse. Let's clarify the two of swords reverse for Taurus. What is this? You're having a hard time deciding with six of pentacles. Okay. All right. So this is representing the equal give and take. All right. So this could have been some type of arrangement you have with someone. All right. You're waiting to see if they are going to balance out if this is a fair trade or not. So you have doubts. You have doubts. And that's the reason why this isn't stepping all the way into, you know manifesting for you because you have doubts about it all right the six of pentacles being here you're undecided if it's worth your time you're undecided if it's worth your you know <clears throat> if it's worth your energy if it's worth investing in you don't feel that it's going to give you what you need back okay you feel that whatever you invest in Whatever this is, whatever you've been waiting to come into fruition, you, you don't you don't feel secure about it with the Six of Pentacles being here. Okay, I feel like it could be, it may be sound good. Like this could be an arrangement, this could be a deal, this could be in business with the Pentacles energy coming out. But it's like, it sounds good. It sounds good. But you're trying to weigh the pros and the cons of the situation. And you're starting to feel that, you know, it, it's too risky. You feel something is too risky. Let me see. Definitely get in like business, business vibes. This could be some type of business arrangement. Um, doesn't have to be if this is a relationship or, you know, a romance. Take it as it applies. But I'm definitely picking up more so like a business arrangement or a deal. Like deal or no deal is what I'm picking up with this energy here. Let's see what the world, uh, the world reverse is. The world reverse is unfinished business. Two of cups reverse. All right. So I'm getting towards with this energy here. You know, um, I just heard no pain, no pleasure. But more so like, you know, you're trying to mix business with pleasure or you're A relationship is involved somewhere in this. So you could be doing business with someone that you are very close to with this Two of Cups reverse. And you feel that it's going to result in maybe you guys disconnecting. It's going to result in some type of like... I just heard backlash. However you're connected to this, this person or the situation, you don't want this arrangement to go bad. Because you feel if the arrangement doesn't work out, then ultimately you're not going to be cool with this person anymore. <laughs> and I feel spirit is telling you not to mix business with pleasure. So if you are working with someone, but you also want a romantic relationship with them, you're going to have to choose between the two is what I believe spirit is telling you with this um, energy here. We have the two of swords reverse and the two of cups reverse. You're going to have to make a decision. Do you want this to be your business partner or do you want this to be your lover? Do you want this to be your, like, you want to have a good friendship with this person or do you want to go into business with this person? Whatever you decide, it's going to have to be one or the other. It's going to have to be balanced. You cannot have this. You can't have both. You can't have your cake and eat it too, <laughs> is what I feel this is saying, Taurus. 
all right there's unfinished business this unfinished business so maybe every single time you decide to start to take the business approach to things then you got a romantic relationship wanting to kind of jump in the mix and distract you or something like that feel spirit is telling you to stay focused stay focused on your business stay focused on your security right now especially financially and don't get distracted but there's unfinished business in a relationship here. Someone is definitely going to come back around to try to rekindle something with you. While you're trying to find some balance in your finances right now, you're trying to find balance in your life. Like, you're tired of being, like, stood up. You're tired of waiting for a change. You're tired of waiting for reciprocity. So you're bossing up in some way, shape, or form. However, you do have someone that's going to creep in. It could be someone from your past because this is the world reverse. So you initiated a journey, you started a journey with this person, but you did not finish. And I feel that they're coming back through, but it, the two of cups is reversed. So I feel like spirit is telling you, you might want to wait on that. Or you may want to make sure that you are prioritizing your livelihood above all else. You may have been distracted in the past by connections with lovers or friends but spirit is telling you that right now you've invested a lot into something a lot of energy into something some type of business or some type of business idea a plan and the moment that this love interest or the situation comes in to distract you that creates a delay with your business plans or your or your ventures your ideas there's a delay because of this romance or because of this relationship or this friendship, whatever this connection is that's tr like trying to get your time and your attention. That's the delay. That's the delay. I hate to say it like that because it could be feeling like I should be able to make time for whoever fuck I want to make time for and still handle my business. True, maybe, but I feel that whatever you've been trying to work on, Spirit is saying, no, you're going to have to give 1,000% to this if you want reciprocity, if you want this business to come into fruition, or you want this outcome to be what you anticipated, you're going to have to give 1,000%. You're going to have to be fair. And if you're not balanced, if you're not fair, if you're not giving a lot of commitment to this, this project, it's going to deter you from that. It's going to create delays. It's as simple as that. Let's get your overall energy. Yeah, and we did see the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So it's like you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to be invested romantically, emotionally in something? Or are you going to invest your energy into being more practical and being more logical? You got to choose right now. You have to make a very tough decision with the Two of Swords reverse here. Let's see, overall energy, and we'll go ahead and jump into the messages from the person that has you on their mind. Nine of Wands. It's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. What is it? It's lonely at, lonely at the top, Taurus. <laughs> it's lonely at the top is what this is given with the Nine of Wands here. But you may come across as guarded. You may come across as, you know, not, not the nicest person, all right, <laughs> to someone. But overall... It is to create some type of stability and security for you. So, again, difficult choice to make. It's never that easy to stand alone. The Nine of Wands is not a joke. The Nine of Wands really is like, damn, yeah, I, it, it would have been nice to have some friends to take along with me and some people I fuck with to come along with me on this journey or this part of my journey, but they can't. It's as simple as that. They can't. And if they don't like it, that's fine. They're entitled to their feelings, but I got to do what I got to do for me. What's best for me? Okay, so you're definitely, it's like the last one standing. You're definitely fighting against all odds right now. You're trying to find a balance between your heart and your mind right now. And I feel spirit is telling you, hey, you, you got something going. But now your, your judgment started to get clouded because of the things and the people and, you know, stuff that you're trying to take with you. You got to choose. You got to choose right now, Taurus. And uh, yeah, I could tell you right now, it's not going to be easy. But Spirit is telling you that it's definitely going to be worth it. 
Look at that. Magician at the very bottom. You're manifesting this. It's going to manifest. It's going to come into fruition. But you see how he's alone? You see how he's alone? All right? You cannot be distracted in trying to be the magician. Can you imagine if his homeboy or homegirl was standing right there behind him talking about, uh-uh, don't add that in the pot. That's going to fuck up. Uh-uh, don't, mm -mm. <laughs> It's going to do, it's going to create a delay in your manifestations if you allow distractions to interfere. All right. So now is not the time for distractions for us. All righty. So let's see. Messages from the person that has you on their mind. What they want to say. What they talking about. Where they coming from. Get a few cards. Messages from the person that has you on their mind. All right, whoa, what Go. is that? Pisces involved. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces. Go. All right. Let's get a few more. We also have, you know, Pisces energy also with the um, hangman. Pisces and Virgo energy. All right, so again, it's uh, someone that could have been waiting and praying and hoping and wishing that they can get you, get some time with you. But Spirit is saying it's not the time for that. <laughs> not the time. Uh-huh, look at that. I miss you. They miss you. Someone misses you. I see 1616. All right. Uh, that's tower energy. You guys could be dealing with Scorpio or Aries or just someone who's very passionate about their feelings towards you. Someone could be aggressive, <laughs> pissed off, mad, agitated because they cannot get to you. Hmm. False person watching. Careful with that. Careful with that. So I do feel that um, I just heard you, Taurus. I ain't got to be careful with shit. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, false person watching. I do feel that there is someone that has been trying to be in your energy. Okay. This could even be the person that misses you. They're agitated because they can't get in your attention. They're pissed off that, they, that they're not getting a response from you. So they're going to try to. By all means, they're going to try to throw you off of your game. Miyagi, that's enough. Empress, stop. Okay. And look at that. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. I'm telling you, somebody is pissed off because they miss you and you won't give them any attention. You won't give them any time. You focus on your business right now. They know that, but this person, they, they, they want you. Got super wet here. Also, I'm picking up like alcoholism. This person could drink a lot. All right, they get faded and then they, they start pouring out <laughs> what they say. A drunk speaks a sober mind. This person gets faded and they start telling the truth. That maybe when you notice that they're a fucking mess, they're all over the place. <laughs> they're super emotional as well as when I'm getting with the super wet energy. Okay. Get one more. Y'all know who y'all be dealing with. Well, shit. High sex is the best sex. Yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, they, it's drugs or alcohol or something that gets them going, gets them routed up, puts them in this this energy of what is Taurus doing? Why Taurus ain't hit me up? Oh, now you high, bitch, and you thinking about Taurus. Are you drunk? And now you want to call, blow Taurus' phone up. You've been stagnant all this time, and all of a sudden you got a little liquid courage and you want to blow Taurus's phone up because you all moist and you wet. You want some ice. You want some sex. You want to do something. So if somebody wants to get you in a bedroom as well. That's obvious to me. That may be the main thing that they miss, and that's the reason why Spirit is telling you not to get distracted because all they want to do is fuck. It's like, why get distracted? Why waste your time? My dog is literally sitting here doing like this to me trying to get my attention and you may be dealing with somebody like that they're going to try their best to distract you while you're trying to handle your business and spirit is saying no no miyagi no and he's gonna get pissed off no they're gonna get pissed off expect that too no down down get down get down the spirit is saying do not allow those distractions Cause they sure gonna try all right so that is your message you two empress don't allow distractions because they sure gonna try look they gonna try no 
You gotta say no, Taurus. You got to say no. Just like your previous reading is coming through again. Uh, you got something going for you. Stay focused. Stay on track. Love you guys. See you next time.